too open. <laughs> too open. It's the first sellout in Creighton basketball history. The tip-off of the Iowa Creighton game comes up next. We're at the Civic Auditorium in Omaha, where all 9,377 seats are sold. To have some pressure early on in the game to make sure all his players are mentally in the game and getting quick at the start. Sears finds Carla Canivas inside, and the two big guys have scored to tie the ball. Walker with the tip and the steal. He is a do-everything player for the Blue Jays, and with the graduation of Buford from a year ago, he becomes the focal point of their offense. Sears for three, and the Blue Jays take the lead. Got a finger in the eye and is asking for timeout. Now Galloway got wounded in the left eye. Here's West rising for a three. Walker on the follow, hits the shot. Griffin, an open crack at the basket, and leaves it short. And Griffin stopped. Hold up for that shot when he could have attacked and drawn the foul. Well, we're trying to get around Sears. Lursman for three. Henderson with an offensive rebound. Battles to put it back. And it's cleared by Johnson. Rebounding back, vitally important for the Hawkeyes. Steve Alford said so far they're Achilles' heel. For both teams, rebounding is the difficult part because they don't have great size or great jumpers. And they have to rely on technical for the Blue Jays. A good performer, and now having to be a bit more of a scorer, along with this man, Walker, as they lost Rudy Buford. West cranks home a three, the bucket will count. A three from Matt West in the blue. Of jumping over Lorsman. And now Dana Altman, just two starters on the floor. West pops it and scores from three. getting easy baskets. That time, everybody could see where Jakes was and the ball when the double team came towards him. No quick movement. Creighton red hot shooting so far. They have only missed one of their first seven shots as Husk hits from the perimeter, and it's 20 to take it into my own hands. Again, just a good opportunity. Had Sears backing up on his heels. A lot of movement inside to get an open man. Here's Haynes from three, or may forget to get it two. He had a foot on the line. Man, this shooting by the Blue Jays of Dana. And he's got those men on him, so again, it would not surprise me that Creighton try and recognize that. And the fellow can over outside for his jump shot. Steve Alford saw a lot of Ben Walker last year when he was at Southwest Missouri State, and Creighton swept the series, and there is Walker right there. Now he got a good view of him there. That shot came right in front of them. Griffin, thanks to a good block off by Henderson, that allowed Griffin to chase the long rebound. Now Sears comes the other way. Blows past Oliver to score. Griffin, a turnover of 20 feet, going to the cross court. Again, opportunity. Rob has to look and try and challenge to score and draw. Needs to move the ball with penetration towards the defender, not going east and west. He got a challenge the defender. Indecision got the double dribble. To strip the blocker. Boy, he's very strong inside, Mac. He's definitely on the inside. Comes over, comes out of the low block area, and Oliver held there by himself, not able to contain Walker and Iowa. Indecisive. Where did he go? His first bucket is fourth point. So where has the defense gone? Inside Haynes leaves it for Walker. Walker with the 11. It is not being found in. Uh, Henderson is going to have to score as he gets pushed to the floor. And Johnson, an easy opportunity. Uh, as Henderson is trying to establish position. Here he is, Carla Canovas, who began his life in Lithuania. Played first basketball there. Oh, oh, what a shot by Sears. Oh, my. That went 15 feet in the air. Do as Henderson. 
getting that third foul. So far, he is still staying in there, and now Steve Alford wants timeout, and he wants to know about that last call. And now he gets a technical well, that's from Dan Christman. Uh, little history, the first technical of Steve Alford's Hawkeye career. And we've got a timeout. Creighton with the ball on a technical when we return. You're watching Big Ten Basketball from ESPN+. Plus. Steve Alford picking up his first Iowa technical and a foul he didn't see. 23, Duez Henderson gets his third foul on that initial push off. The official said he was pushing off Carter Canovas and Henderson goes out to receive the ball. And Steve Alford totally disagreed with it. He gets his first technical as the Iowa coach and the crowd is letting the official know because this is a split crowd, even though it's at Creighton. A lot of Iowa fans, especially Western Iowa fans, here to see this game. And you saw something rare. Ryan Sears doesn't miss many free throws. He missed the front end of the technical. Cash is in on the next end, and Creighton leads at 40-36. And that foul push-off is hard to envision in that replay. And now Iowa forced to go zone because they got their front line, both of them, in Henderson and Jakes and foul problems as a three comes in. Kyle Korver ends his brief shooting slump, and this is eight. Well, they talked about the Ali and his phantom punch in boxing. There may be a phantom foul in this game. You think so, huh? Pelicanovas puts up the hook. Pelicanovas did not feel pressure. He just turned on the hook, and there was no defender on that one. Griffin trying to make a move, and nothing called. The aggressiveness by Griffin was good. The results just not able to finish. Sears bullets a pass to Walker who scores. And Sears Walker played together for two years, able to finish. And they're doing it without two of their starters, their frontline starters. And Creighton has to be a little concerned as they can't extend the lead when they have starters on the bench. Oh, and just a giveaway by Lersman and battled around. That is a what do I have in my hand? Lersman pops. Doesn't get, and the first half comes to a close. Jacob Jakes, three first half fouls. How much he can play in the second half could be a key factor. It'll be up to whether he can be smart enough and alert enough to keep himself out of number four early in this game. At time score from Omaha, Creighton 49, Iowa 44. We'll be back in a moment. We saw the pace really go Creighton's way. I think the opportunity will be the word in the second half. Which team capitalizes on the opportunities to take care of this game? Demetrius Henderson gets the Hawkeyes started in the second half with a big basket. Carla Canovas wheels into the lane and hits the shot, and he is fouled. And that may be Henderson's fourth. We said Carla Canova moved through the double team. That was a good play. Sears with a rebound for the Blue Jays. From three, the shot down by West. Matt West has hit his third triple in this ball game. And Iowa being frustrated in this game. Well, kind of reminds me of the UConn. He's going to get him some minutes this year, and it certainly has gotten him a lot of them tonight. But he's got a wide body, and Iowa needs someone else to be able to come in and defend and shot block. And Sears had been quiet, but not now. His first basket of the second. The defender. You want to drive at the defender. Oliver with a miss on the three, and Nias Carlacanolas has the rebound for Creighton. A good position to get it. Johnson in deep, scores. Running the court, it's an easy basket. A couple players not running, and up good inside out in terms of drawing the defense in, leaving the shooter open, out. Watch Jakes and Johnson battle on the inside. Sears matches the three of his old high school rival. Yeah, Sears and Roebuck special there. That's the old style, give me an open shot and I'll put it down. Realize that the home team chooses the basketball and there are some differences. Yes, screen inside the walker, good play on the box out of bounds play. Buckets in Iowa pulls within three. And Price taking an opportunity, getting knocked down there as Sears finishes. Somebody has to tell Price that pick is coming. He just gets leveled and nobody. Terrell Taylor, the freshman, has come back into Dane Altman's lineup. Creighton trying to keep the lane open and the back doors open. And Colonel Lathis right there, little jump hook using the left hand. 
Pelicanovas not, and the Hawkeyes are playing what looks to be like desperation on the inside. Wow, an easy putback. Nobody on the glass for the Hawks. Alan Huss on the putback. And it's going to have to be Lurzman and Oliver looking for good shots. They don't have to force them, but they got to make sure either they or they can drive it to get their inexperienced front line scoring opportunities. But you better play some defense in the other end. Barber for three. The freshman from Pella bangs home his second three. The Blue Jays go up by eight.